Opportunities and Probable Anniversary, presented by Science at NASA. When NASA's Mars rover Opportunity blasted off from Cape Canaveral in 2003, many onlookers expected a relatively short mission. Landing on Mars is risky business. The Red Planet has a long history of destroying spacecraft that attempt to visit it. Even if Opportunity did land safely, it was only designed for a three-month mission on the hostile Martian surface. Few, if any, imagined that Opportunity would still be roving the red sands of Mars and still making discoveries 10 years later. On July 7, 2013, Opportunity celebrates the 10th anniversary of its launch in more than nine years on Mars. Opportunity is celebrating by, you guessed it, driving. The rover is currently en route to Solander Point, a place on the rim of Endurance Crater where a treasure trove of geological layers is exposed for investigation. After nine-plus years of traveling, Opportunity recently set the U.S. space program's all-time record for mileage driven on a surface other than Earth's. The milestone occurred on May 15, 2013, when the rover drove 262 feet, or 80 meters, bringing its total odometry to 22.22 miles, or 35.76 kilometers. The previous mark had been held by the Apollo 17 moon rover, which astronauts Gene Cernan and Harrison Schmidt drove for 22.21 miles across the lunar surface in December 1972. Over the years, Opportunity's travels have been punctuated by hundreds of stops to photograph and sample the Martian landscape. The surface of Mars today is extremely dry and hostile to life as we know it. Opportunity's mission is to hunt for places where it wasn't always so, places where ancient water might have hosted life forms native to Mars. So far, so good. The rover has found abundant evidence that liquid water was once present. For the past 20 months, Opportunity has been working the rim of Endeavor Crater. There, Opportunity found deposits of gypsum, probably formed from groundwater seeping up through cracks in Martian soil. Opportunity has also found chemistry indicative of clay minerals in a rock named Esperance. A lot of water moved through this rock, says Steve Squires of Cornell University, principal investigator for the mission. These results are some of the most important findings of our entire mission. Solander Point, where Opportunity is heading now, has two key attractions. For one thing, while Opportunity's most recent stop, Cape York, exposed just a few meters of geological layering, Solander Point exposes roughly 10 times as much. A visit to Solander Point would be like reading a Martian history book. Second, and perhaps more importantly, there are north-facing slopes at Solander Point, where the rover can tilt its solar panels toward the sun and ride out the coming winter. The minimum sunshine days of this sixth Martian winter for Opportunity will come in February 2014. If Opportunity survives another year, and who now would bet against it, the rover might yet break the all-time extraterrestrial driving record set by Lunokhod 2, a Soviet robotic vehicle that traveled across the moon in 1973. Ultimately, Opportunity could even cross the 26.2-mile mark. In other words, stay tuned for the first Martian marathon. For more news of improbable feats on the red sands of Mars, visit science.nasa.gov.